Hey what's up everyone it's xcarlife here and this is just a quick video to show you how to download and update the XIV data bar add-on since I have noticed on my LVY interface video that quite a lot of people are struggling to do so. Now in case you haven't watched my LVY video yet the XIV data bar is basically a black bar that you can see on the top of my interface which is replacing the default WoW micro menu. So with that out of the way, let's get started with downloading the add-on first. Now when you have arrived at the GitHub page, you can just go to releases at the right side of your screen and download the latest version. Once your file has been downloaded, it should be in your downloads folder or the location that you have selected. Now just take the zip file and drag that one to your desktop. Then you have to head over to the World of Warcraft add-ons folder and in my case the game is located on my C drive and the folder that you need is called the interface folder and then you can just go to the add-ons folder and this is the one that you will need. So once you have opened the add-ons folder you can just open up the zip file and drag the folder that is inside the zip file to your desktop. Then you have to right click that folder and select properties and rename that folder to xiv underscore data bar and take that folder and drag it inside your add-ons folder. If you have already a working version of the XIV data bar in your add-ons folder then you can simply click on replace the files in the destination folder so that will basically overwrite the old files with the newer version of the XIV data bar. After that you can simply log in into the game, go to your add-ons and make sure that the XIV data bar add-on has been checked. If your XIV data bar add-on is still not at the top of your screen then you might want to go to your interface settings, go to XIV data bar and make sure that you have selected the, the uh, position to be at the top of your screen. When all of that is done, the add-on should now be correctly installed. Make sure every single time that you download a newer version to also rename that folder because otherwise the add-on will not be loaded in game. But anyways guys, that's it for this video. Follow my social media, like it if you liked it, subscribe for more and I catch you guys in the next one.